Hi everyone, welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne. Boy, have I ever got some goodies to share with you today. Um, they are from some thrift stores around Raleigh and around Cary and Apex in North Carolina, as well as a flea market that my antique mall hosted yesterday on Saturday the 7th. I didn't get any footage of the flea market because unfortunately the bulk of the morning the weather was just terrible and it rained off and on all morning long and then when the sun finally popped out to be honest um, I was just concentrated on the traffic that was at the flea market rather than filming. It turned out that the flea market was kind of a bust, <laughs> at least for myself it was. I didn't do very well. Uh, I was very fortunate, though, I will say, that my sales inside the, flea, inside the mall at the time, I did very well, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, I did uh, sell a few things outside, though. I made a whopping $34 over the fee that I had to pay to rent the space. So, you know... $34 is $34 and I will take it. Um, I did more shopping than I did selling. Um, and that is always fun. So I'm going to share that with you. And I do want to kind of make a shout out to Betty. And I do hope I remembered your name correctly, Betty. I have a brain like a sieve. It goes in and then it goes right out. But Betty and her husband stopped at my space outside to say hello and uh, let me know that they watch my videos. And that was very exciting. That was one of the high points of my day. So hello to both of you. Um, so, uh, like I said, I did a bunch of shopping uh, around the flea market. Uh, that may not be what I'm going to get started with, but anyway, I'll show you. And if I can remember where I found things, I will let you know. Here comes Lewis, and hopefully we will get a Lewis Likes today, because I know he has been lax in letting us know what his favorite was. So do let us know what your favorite uh, find was from today's haul. doesn't matter where it's from if it's from uh, one of the thrift stores or from the flea market in the comment section down below let me know what your favorite find was i'll let you know what my favorite find was too this piece i forgot to tell you from a couple of videos ago from the durham rescue mission uh, bins i found this great shelf it just needs to be cleaned up and i do want to probably take off because i'm not sure that sticker was meant to be there but I found this fabulous old shelf. Kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? There are the two eyes, and that almost looks like a mustache down there. Very, very dirty mirror. Uh, but again, great shelf. I believe this is an older piece. This is going to look great in the booth because I can put things on top of it as well as hang things on the bottom here. So I finally showed you that piece. And I'm also buying some things because I've got my fingers crossed. I'm uh, very hopeful that I'm going to be able to expand my booth space up there. Um, nothing says that it's going to happen, but I'm kind of putting it out in the universe there. I don't want to move. I just want, me, want to be able to expand the space that I have. So I'll keep you posted on whether or not that's going to come to fruition. Another piece that I found, this was at a church yard sale that I went to. Oh my goodness gracious, it's not heavy, it's just kind of slippery a little bit. Now this is a an ice bucket. I, I first looked at it and picked it up because I thought it was kind of a unique uh, design for an ice bucket in very, very good condition. Good thing is that it came with the ice tongs as well. And then an even better thing is that it is, and I only know of this gentleman because of Heidi over at the Weather Fence Post kind of clued me in to look out for this gentleman, a George Briard, and people do collect uh, this particular designer. So picked that up. I may go ahead and save this. Uh, for a little bit later, I'm not sure, maybe into next year because of the lighter wood. Um, doesn't scream fall, winter to me. We shall see. 
I did pick up at that same yard sale, although I don't know where it is now. I did pick up um, an older Bible. I'm not sure what I did with that. Uh, let me see. I'll show you. Heidi and I were going to go on a private pick on Friday. And unfortunately, poor thing, uh, we went to the gentleman's house. She didn't have his contact information. So we just went to his house when we were supposed to be there. And he had COVID. So we weren't uh, able to do it. So instead, we went back to her house, picked up her husband, Steve. Well, he picked us up because he drove. I went back, um, picked him up, and uh, we went to a couple of thrift stores in her area. So one was a Goodwill, and I did pick something up at the Goodwill. What did I get? Oh, I have to go get it. I will be right back. Hold on. Okay, I got it. I did really want to show this to you because this is going to be great for into the winter and the Christmas booth. This is a beautiful, beautiful pattern here. And I had to pull this out of my truck yesterday because the morning uh, got, was very chilly. And when the rain came down and then left and the wind blew, it got cold. And I wore a skirt yesterday not knowing how chilly it was going to be. This really did the trick. This is from Troy Robe, although it is a throw. Let me see, what does this say? It is made in Troy Mills, Troy Mills Incorporated, Troy, New Hampshire. So nice to have around you is what it says. There is the tag. It doesn't say, but my guess is that this is either 100% wool or it definitely is a wool makeup, a wool blend. But that really did the trick yesterday. So that's the only thing that I picked up at Goodwill. And then we went, as I said, we went to a couple of thrift stores. I picked this up. And would you believe in all of the years that I have been thrifting, this is the first one of these that I have ever, ever found. And I am going to be making, there we go. I am going to be making those farmhouse beads with this. It's one of those back massagers that you would put on, I guess, your car seat or something and the little beads roll around. So this I'm gonna be taking apart and just making those farmhouse, like I said, the farmhouse beads. And I'll see if they do sell in the booth. Um, some people may still throw those over, you know, a stack of books or uh, maybe drape them over a picture or something like that. There we are. And then Heidi found these for me. And these are just some old chess pieces that I will put into an apothecary jar. Those would be cool sitting on a shelf in a library or an office. Um, this I thought was pretty cool. This I could use in the booth. Just um, First I will use it as a staging piece for just to place some little things in. And then maybe this would even sell as well. I'm not sure what it is supposed to be. Um, they have on the bottom of it rising box. And so I'll use this, like I said, as staging initially. Um, I found these little, I had the hardest time saying tobacco basket when I found these. But these cute little tobacco baskets. This one here and then that one there. These would be great. I don't know, do folks still do basket walls? Because these would be really adorable on a basket wall. And then I found this galvanized bucket that says garden on it. So this would be super cute as a planter in somebody's garden. This would be super cute too. If you turned it around, you didn't want to use it garden, you could put rolled towels in this in your bathroom oh my goodness you could use this as a magazine rack um you could stuff pillows in this in your living room family room um this has i think uh, just a bunch of different uh, uses and i liked the rope handles on it and they're both intact so that was a plus oops sorry about that that 
was I went so I was trying so hard to avoid making extra noise with this. Let me put this stuff in here. So see, even though we didn't get to go to that private pick, you know, sometimes things are just meant to be. So it turned out to be okay. Um then we went to, and I haven't been to Dorcas thrift store um, in quite some time. We went there, and this is what I picked up at Dorcas. Let me see, I'll put this aside, because that was from the flea market. So what did I get at Dorcas? Oh, this is a Butterbell, but I've never seen one that's clear before. Quite heavy. Uh, don't know who made this. And if you know what a butter bell is, or if you don't, I should say, you put your butter into here, and then this part gets filled up with water, and then you put the butter into there, and you leave this out on your counter with the butter in it. And I forget how long this is. This can last. That's it, Lewis. Come on, you got to make your your pick, buddy. This can sit out on your counter with the butter in it for quite some time. I'd, I'd have to research it again to remember how long this can sit out on your counter with your butter in it so you don't have to keep it in your refrigerator. But again, I've never seen a clear one, so pick that up. And then this, oh, I can't show you that because it still has stuff in it, hold on. Um, found these, I think these would be really cute. They are napkin rings. A uh, set of four of them, some brass horns. I thought they would be really cute for Christmas. I uh, found some more brass. These are just kind of like, sort of, rec no, they're not really rectangular. I'm not quite sure. Lois, don't go after the um, tape, please. Not quite sure what you would call that shape. There are two, four, six, eight of them, but these are brass too, and you know, they say brass has made a comeback, so I picked those up. Now these I got, these are thumbtacks. I'm not sure if they are brass or not, but they look like brass. Now what I want to try and do with these, you might remember from a while back when Heidi and I went to, and Kelly, the three of us went Yes, Kelly was there too. We went to that place. Oh my goodness. What was the name of that place now? It was supposed to be a flea market, but it was inside. It was this huge warehouse. And I picked up a table base and a Lazy Susan. And I wanted to put them all together and make a plant stand out of them and put some faux leather on the top and then put studs uh, around the outside of it. And I'm hoping that these thumbtacks will be strong enough that they're going to be able to go through the wood and I could use those as the studs around the outside. So that's the reason I picked those up. Uh, let me see. What did they wrap up here? Me. Oh, I can show you this because this is for a girlfriend. I picked this up for her for Christmas because I know she doesn't, she doesn't watch YouTube. So I know she doesn't watch my channel. This is a Nurse Dachshund. Uh, this is <laughs> Hot Diggity, it's from. And I picked this up because she is a retired nurse and she and her husband love, love, love Dachshunds. So this is just perfect for her, just a little something for Christmas. She and her husband have moved about two, no, more like three hours away now. Um, they have both retired. But for Christmas, we, uh, she and another friend and I that we used to work together, we always get together for Christmas. Um, so I'm just going to put this away for her and give this to her then. I, I really think she's going to like it. No, don't chew that. Picked this up for Caitlin because she is wanting to start crocheting. And Heidi was kind enough to pick her up. It's a crochet hook. Kind enough to pick her up a crochet hook a while ago, but it was a little teeny, 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 tiny crochet hook. So I got that one for her. And if that one's not going to work, then she's just going to have to go to the store and get one. This is uh, number eight, and I know nothing about crocheting. So we'll see if that works for her. If not, 
She's going to have to go to Joanne's or Michael's. And then last, lastly, I <coughs> picked this up. Now, this is for hemming skirts and dresses. Well, used to be. I don't believe, well, maybe old-fashioned. Um, the ladies that like to do things the old-style way still use these. Don't eat the tape would still use these. Now, I had one before in my booth that was the tall one with the puffer. Um, that has that has sold. Now, I've never seen one like this. I don't know why it starts at seven and goes up to 20, but I still thought it was pretty cool. Oh, this is when he kisses. I love when he gives me kisses. What do you think of this, Louis? Huh? Oh, I might be Louis's favorite this video. I'm getting tons of kisses. <laughs> so pick this up and we'll see how that does. And then this, I think, was the steal of the day as far as pricing goes from, from what I got. This needs a really good clean and I think I'm going to paint it. This, you remember, you remember the old uh, kind of like wicker hampers. Well, when I first saw this sitting there, I thought that's what it was, because this is what I saw, what you're seeing right now. And I thought it was a very narrow hamper. Well, it turns out to be a wall shelf, as you can see. And so I picked this up. I don't have any space in the booth for it now, because I just don't have enough wall space for it. But that's what I'm putting out into the atmosphere that I'm hoping to get a bigger space, fingers crossed, so I went ahead and got this for that purpose, but I only paid a dollar, a dollar for this shelf. It's in really good condition. There is one little, oh, I can't see where it is now, but there's one little place on it where it has a nick, but it's hardly noticeable. Now he bit me, <laughs> of course. That's Lois's love language. Kiss, 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 bite. <laughs> yes, that's, that's Lois. Look out, bud. Look out, buddy. So this, I think, was the steal of the day. Um, then what else did I find? Oh, I have to show you this. This I'm going to be keeping for myself. So I, now I have to go get two pumpkins. I'm going to go get a tall, kind of thin one. And then I'm going to get a shorter, chunky one. And you can make a witch out, the, a witch out of them. So they have, see they have little hands and the goofy face and little feet. So, and they're all, they're, there's two witches, enough to make two pumpkins in here. I thought it was adorable. That says trick or treat, so she can hold that. Are there two trick or treat signs in here? Let's see. What is this? Oh, no, that's another hand. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't look like there's, there are no, there are not two, two trick or treat signs in there. But that's okay. Oh, you know what I could do? Maybe I could have the trick or treat sign between the two witches. So they could kind of be holding it on, holding on to it together. So there they are. They're real, they'd be twins, kind of, right? But with different outfits on. So that I got for myself. I think that'll be just kind of fun and goofy. I don't decorate for Halloween, so I'll probably keep these inside and I won't get really big pumpkins. Um, I stopped doing Halloween this years ago, but I just thought it would be fun to have. Okay, so I got that. Um, so that was everything I believe from Dorcas. And then from the flea market, what did I buy? Oh, I'll show you this piece first. And you won't believe what I paid for this. This is heavy. Look at how gorgeous this is. So it's stained glass. And it used to be an oil lamp. And, oops. Oh, oh, no wonder it's so heavy. There's something else inside of it. Hold on. And there's the mechanics of it inside. And the oil would come up through there. And I did ask the gentleman and he said, yes, this was a vintage piece. But what I'm gonna do after I clean it out, I'm gonna put um, 
uh, battery operated flickering candle inside of it. I think, and this is so really not my style, but I saw it and I just, I mean, my eyes, it just caught my eyes and I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. And then I asked him how much, cause it didn't have a price on it. And I thought, I'm, I'm not going to want to pay whatever the price is that he has on it. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I was like, okay, it's mine. I'm taking this. So that was another score, I thought. And then from another vendor, I picked up this whole bag of marbles. Um, the light was going out in my black light. So I don't know, but I am really hoping that there are some glowing marbles in there. Uh, the gentleman that I bought these off of said that they were his mom's from his mom's collection, that she collected marbles. So again, hopefully we have some uh, glow marbles in there. And then from another vendor, I picked up these Raymond's Pink Pills 25 and they're laxatives. As downstairs in my half bath downstairs, I have a um, a large, like a cubby, uh, has all little tiny cubbies in it. And I collect, although I haven't picked any, up anything in quite some time, I pick up little sort of bathroom related things, items, and I, I put them in there. And believe it or not, there are still pills in here. So I got that. And then I picked up uh, Raymond's Tabs Aspirin. Oh, there's some in there too. So I picked that one up too. And then everything else I'm going to show you, I got from the same vendor that, was it from the same vendor? Yes, it was, that I got this light from. Now, some of you might know or remember that I am, well, I wasn't born there, but I was raised in Scranton, Pennsylvania. What did I find at that vendor's space? I'm for Scranton. And this guy is Bill Scranton. And on the back of this, it's, it just says this was made, um, that it was made in um, Mount Vernon, New York. It doesn't have a date or anything on it, but I sent a picture of this to my sister and she said, I mean, I knew it was Bill Scranton because uh, Scranton was named after his family. And she said that this guy ran, Bill Scranton, ran for president. Um, she thinks that this button is from 1964. 1964 is the year that we moved to Scranton when I was five years old. Because so I was born in uh, Frankfurt, Germany. And then when I was five years old, we moved uh, permanently to the States. We had moved once. Um, my dad was in the army and we had moved one time when I was a little teeny baby. Um, they shipped us back to the States and then they shipped us almost right away back over to Germany. And then we lived there until I was five when they shipped my family back to the States. We lived in New Jersey for a little while while my father, over the summer, while my father came to Scranton, found us a house, bought it, and then we moved to Scran Scranton permanently. And my sister still lives in the house that I was raised in, um, which will go to me after my sister passes. So that, this was the find of the day. I put this right on. I was so excited. And when I sent the picture to my sister, she didn't realize that I had already purchased it. And she texted me back. She said, oh, if it's not too much money, go ahead and get that. Not knowing that I had already bought it. So this was pretty cool. Um, then what else did I get from that gentleman? Uh, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. I wrapped this up myself because I didn't want it to get broken. Isn't he adorable? Look at this little mouse. And I guess he's coming out of a melon or something. Now, it's not marked or anything, but I'm making the assumption that this is an older piece. 
and he does have I just noticed it now don't care I still would have I still would have purchased him he has a little teeny weeny little chip right there you can see it on the leaf but as I said I still would have gotten that um purchased one of these this is at suburban savings now a straight line to financial security regular savings at suburban savings don't know what suburban savings is or how old that is but I like to pick these rulers up oh, what else is in here? oh this is from this was dated 1978 79 this is Jack's and a ball set uh, made in Hong Kong yep Hong Kong um, jacks are in there the ball is in there oh my goodness the hours that I used to spend playing jacks oh my goodness with friends and by myself oh my goodness this took me back to my childhood this I think is missing a piece here kind of like a poof poof little ball because it does have a hole at the end here so I'm guessing that the little puffer thing is missing. But I still think this is a really cool piece to put on a stack of books or something. So got that. And picked. Oh, I'm missing something in here. Just dawned on me. Picked these up. These are solid brass. Those are the, the masks. I think they're theater masks, right? And this one is a swing line cub, little red vintage stapler. Um, let me see. Made in Long Island City, New York. Don't see a date on it. That's okay. And then pick this up too. Really old and crusty. You know, I like the old crusty stuff. So I got that as well. And then I'm not going to tell you what the other piece is that I don't see here because once I find it, I'll show it to you in a future video. So what is my favorite? Okay, love, love, love this stained glass lamp. But because I am from Scranton and this thing just, this is it. This is my favorite here. This is my favorite. Lewis kind of had a toss-up between two things that he went back and forth from. It was between the shelf that I bought for a dollar, but he really kept coming back to the clear um, Butterbell. So I think this was this is the Lewis likes for this video, was the clear Butterbell. I guess he's never seen one before either. So this was Lewis's favorite from today's haul. So if you would, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let everybody know what your favorite find was from today's haul. I hope you enjoyed all, well, not all, but I hope you enjoyed today's haul. And uh, that is all that I've got for you today. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Share the video with uh, other folks that you enjoy this, that you know enjoy this type of video. And um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And until my next video, you guys know exactly what to do. Please take very, very good care of yourselves. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.